look at the charge sheet properly, um, the predominant charge is that of stealing. Um, it means that there is an assumption that the monies, the subject matter of the criminal charges uh, belonged to some other person and were dishonestly appropriated by the accused persons, you know, either together or as individuals. And uh, the, the basic point that I was making in court uh, on behalf of the defense team is the fact that we need to look at the source of the money critically because basically this is founded on um, liquidity support that was uh, provided by the Bank of Ghana. Sorry. <clears throat> and the liquidity support is described in the facts grounding the charges um, as if it still remained the property of the Bank of Ghana. But we all know that liquidity support granted to a bank um, is more or less um, a loan with interest that is to be paid for by the bank. And uh, therefore, we took the view uh, that um, once the money was transferred to the bank and the bank disbursed it in accordance with its own internal procedures, it was a legitimate um, banking transaction that the bank engaged in. And therefore, there is no reason why any person should be charged you know, with stealing. And um, the reason why I thought it was going to be groundbreaking from a jurisprudential point of view is the fact that um, all these transactions were done with the consent of the bank, that is Capital Bank. Uh, at least there have been board approval by the duly constituted board members of the, of the bank. Um, and uh, therefore, if all the internal management processes were complied with, um, we do not see how a charge of stealing would lie. But of course, we are at uh, it's early days yet because the uh, prosecution is yet to adduce evidence. Maybe in the course of the, I mean, adducing the evidence, we'll see why um, a, you know, a charge of stealing can be sustained. But you cannot steal my property with my consent. Um, the, the law is very, very clear if you, you look at uh, you know, the uh, Criminal and Other, other I mean, uh, Offenses Act. Right, um, I think it says section 120, okay, 121 um, B. It is very, very clear that you cannot steal somebody's uh, property with their consent. Even from a common sense point of view, it is impossible for you to accuse me of stealing when you have given me the property yourself, willingly and voluntarily. Of course, if I, if I said things to you that represented fraudulent mis I mean, misrepresentations, in that case, you can say that I have defrauded you. But where I have taken your property with your own consent, I cannot be accused of stealing. That was the point that I was trying to make.